Hey, I'm live right now with the Detroit Free Press. How did it go today? Can you break it down? Tell me who you are. I know you're one of the leaders. Yeah, I'm uh, Stefan Perez, and I, uh, and then, you know, at first it started with a small group of people, under 15 people at first, and then we all grew together. And when we started to grow, I try to keep everybody together. I try to keep everybody as a collective group. And, and we marched, man. We marched from here all the way to Southwest to my hood. And we marched from Southwest. We made a stand up on Michigan and Illinois without no problems. The whole time, no businesses ran through. No riots, no looting, no none of that. No, 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 no fights, no none of that. I, I made sure we was all good. I had other people helping me, such as, as, such as other people, and, and I'm glad they did. And I'm, I, I'm surprised people listen to me. I'm glad they did because they not hurt right now because they could be. And a lot of people call me pussy for it. Excuse me. A lot of people call me a kid for it. telling them to go home. But at the same time, it's not, it's not on their head. I already got a big migraine right now. So if I got anybody's hurt or pain and I have that on my head, I'm not going to be able to sleep at all. I can lead as many protests as I need to. People know my name now. People know who I am, which is good. I don't care. I know y'all are recording, but I don't care about the media. I care about the message. That's all it is. My name, I could have wore a hoodie and a mask the whole time, but people wouldn't have heard me that way. They heard me this way. And look, everybody out the way. I don't want no problems. I don't want none of that. It's people following me into battle today, and we came out. And it's not victorious, but hey, you can't, you can't just expect to want to learn how to do piano and know how to do it in one day. It are, takes time to learn. Are you gonna it's organize? Are you gonna organize future marches? What's uh, uh, what's on your what's on your agenda? My agenda is we march every time as much as we can, as much as we can. But we do it like this peacefully. We got we hold together, and I and they, and they listen. Yeah, I had some people who tell me, oh you this, oh you that, and, oh you this, oh you that. But at the same time, they get to go home safe. That's all I care about. Minneapolis, Chicago, all over the world, There's stuff going on right now. My people, my city. It's good. That's all I care for. That's all I want. Police, we can't say nothing. But we have to take one step at a time. We can't just expect to be able to learn how to play piano on one day. So it's a, it's a progress. It's a progress for my people. I'm Mexican, Black, Puerto Rican, and Nicaraguan. I'm mixed. So I got all types of people with me. And all I can do is just put hands up on shit. Did you feel like there were people that wanted to escalate tonight? There are many of people that want to escalate. There's, there's people that I had to put in check that was like, well, when we get down there, we're not going to leave. Every, they, like, when I stopped the protest, everybody stopped. Well, we did, I did. Yeah, we did an Nobody interview with the, uh, Which I don't care about. Yeah, yeah, that was a name, cool. I don't care about that. At the end of the day, I bet. I remember. when they stopped, they listened. That's what I needed them to do. Yeah, I had to know, keep everybody is, in the right mindset, and that's what I tried. That's what I did. Everybody's, everybody's going home. And look. We made our we made our impact today. We made our statement. But at the same time, my people are all alive. That's all I care about. I'm alive. I'm here. What was your name again? I, I'm Stefan. Stefan Perez. Can you spell Stefan for me? S T E F A N. Thanks, man. Um, so, the people that were that were agitated, that were trying to, what was their? Why do you think they were doing that? I I actually don't know. There's a lot of stuff on the media about cops being inside the protest. There's a lot of media about cops starting the riots. There's, there's all of this. But at the end of the day, nobody's gonna exactly know. But all we can do is make sure all people get home safe. That's all I care about, that's all I want. So the people who get agitated was like, oh, when we go down there, we gonna continue fighting, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, for what? For what? If we, if we continue fighting, all that's gonna do is more people locked up, less people to march. Yeah. And what? No offense, but all they're gonna do is put on us at the end of the day. They're gonna be like, it escalated because they didn't want to stop. It escalated because they want to stay past curfew. It escalated because this, because that, because that. Nothing else. So the only way we can make our verses heard is by not speaking. That's what I want to do. And our hands up in the air. That's what I had to make sure everybody did. I try my best to lead everybody today. And if anybody's watching, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to go everywhere. I don't care. But anybody watching, if you were with me today, thank you. I appreciate that. Because at the end of the day, none of y'all had to follow through me through battle. I told y'all to leave if y'all were scared. And a lot of y'all stayed. There's many of people that didn't stop. There's still people that are still here waiting on me to get home. Because they stayed with me. So at the end of the day, all I can do is just, people wanted to agitate it, they mad at me, but they home safe. They don't got rubber bullets, they don't got tear gas, they're not dead. That's all that matters right now. That's all that matters in every place. I got the mayor on the phone right now. The mayor? The mayor. Hello? The mayor Duggan's on the phone. Yeah, hello, mayor. hello, mayor Duggan. Uh, it's it, it's a, a shock. I, I didn't I didn't expect this. I apologize for uh, inconvenience, but um, I led a uh, protest today, and um, 
I just want to say, I try to get everybody home safe. That that this right here is just an amazing experience. I'm only 16, and I didn't even think I was gonna make it to this age. And just for the fact that, like I said, I don't care about the media coverage, but at the same time, I care about the message. And that's that's all I want. That's all I want for my people. That's all I want for me. I want to worry that I don't have to leave out the house and, and put my hoodie on and get pulled over for something. I don't have to worry about. I just don't want my people to worry about anything. And I tell them it's one step at a time. Right now, they can't do nothing. Right now, they got police. And all I try to do, I went in the middle of everything. They could have shot me. They could have done whatever they did. But I got on one knee, put my hands up, and I said, don't shoot. That's it. Stefan, I, I was watching the video, and I saw your leadership. I have tears in my eyes. You are everything that's special about the city of Detroit. And uh, I just thought your whole protest was a phenomenal national message. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fight this injustice because of people like you. I just want to say to you, uh, you, you are everything that's great about the city of Detroit. Thank you. I, I appreciate it, and I appreciate the fact. I ain't gonna lie. We had some police officers walk with us in uniform, who stand united with us today, and, and I'm glad that you do too. Like I said, I just wanna make sure everybody get home safe. I'm not gonna lie to you now. We are gonna hold more marches and protests, but it's gonna. I'm gonna make sure that we are safe, that we end up safe, that I get people home as much as as much as I gotta do. Because yeah, it was difficult, but at the same time, people were scared right now, and I know you know that. And I just wanna say. I appreciate this phone call, and I appreciate the conversation. This is surreal. That if I didn't have my headache right now, trust me, I'd be elated. But I appreciate just this right now, and I appreciate the fact that you even know who I am. I appreciate the fact everybody knows who I am. Well, I like Tucson when you have time to get a chance to get you and me together, because I just I just want to thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
there was one organization today, um, I don't know where they're at, but um, they uh, were paying bills for anybody who got arrested, mm -hmm. and they really didn't need to do that. But they, I don't know where they're at, but they did do that just in case anybody did, just in case I did. But they're down there right there. But yeah, they, they like I said, they what they had, they made sure that if they let the people in the battle, they're gonna also get them out. And I'm glad that it, it's a win. It's, a, it's, a, it's not necessarily the, the best success, but look, they're good. They're good. I'm good. That's all that matters right now. That's all that matters. I don't think anyone's gonna call you later. It really don't matter to me. People gonna have their own opinion at the end of the day. I'm living my life. So that's my day. I did not wake up today thinking I was gonna lead a protest throughout the strike. That's, that's crazy. And by the way, people are looking at me. You got to leave many more. I said, it's, it's not about how long you can stay in the fight. It's about how many times you can win. And today was a win because we didn't lose no people. Look, everybody gone. Every, some people still here, but we didn't start nothing. We did this. I'm not going to necessarily, necessarily say I did this because I didn't. I had plenty of help today. But I'm here. I'm alive. I woke up today enough to do this. And I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I was able to take a knee, put my hand up, and, and say, say Black Lives Matter, say everything. I just want to appreciate this as, as that too. So Thank I you, sir. That's all to you, young man. Yeah. I want to see him. Thanks so much, Stefan. Of course. You're not going to next week. Huh? You're not going to next week. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to next week. It's necessary. But I'm going to find out. <laughs> well, that was a very powerful end to a four days of... 16. 16. I turned 17 November 23rd, man. My birthday coming up. I'm trying to make it.